guys, it's Ishani, aka Total Makeup Junkie 101. So today I have a super, super exciting and really requested review slash demo slash overview video. And it is about new me hairstyling tools. Now, as a lot of you guys know, in my last little black bag video, I got a new me hair curling wand in that video. And a lot of people ever since I posted that video over a month ago have been requesting a demo on that curling wand and a review on that curling wand. And since I posted that video, Numi has actually contacted me and gotten in touch with me and actually sent me another curling wand and a flat iron. So in this video, I'm going to be demoing and reviewing two different curling wands and a flat iron all from new me and talking about what I like, what I don't like, showing you how I use them and all of that good stuff. So I hope this video is helpful for someone who wants some new hairstyling tools or is curious about the new me brand and let's get right into the review. So we're just going to start off with the wand that I purchased myself and this was my introduction to the new me brand. This is the wand that I got from my little black bag. This is the new me 19 millimeter classic curling wand and this one is the zebra print as you guys can see so I was totally down for the zebra print I love anything animal printed and this is the box that it comes in in case you guys are curious this wand heats up to 410 degrees Fahrenheit and I believe that's 210 degrees Celsius it is a ceramic clipless curling wand now this is my first introduction to a clipless curling iron I've never had a curling wand that didn't have a clip on it so I was really excited to try this one out and I have to say I loved it at first go it was just amazing it was the best investment I think I've ever made in my life some of the things that I love about this wand is that it has a simple on off button here as you guys can see so it's not temperature controlled or anything you can't control the heat which is a good and bad thing it's good because it makes it simple it's a simple on off bad because if you guys want to use low heat you can't really do it with this wand also the swivel cord, I love the swivel cord, especially when you're kind of rotating it around your head. You don't have to worry about the cord getting tangled. It's also a nice long cord and that's something that I don't think a lot of people mention, but the outlet that I use is actually not super close to my mirror. It's a good like three or four feet away and I have no problem using this um, iron and the cord isn't too short for me. Another thing I love about the clipless curling wands is they all come with a little heat protectant glove with them so you use the glove to hold the piece of hair that you're wrapping around the iron that way you don't burn your finger so I filmed demos using all three of the heat styling tools that I have from new me so I'm going to be inserting them throughout the video just for your guys's information so you guys can see how I use the product and the best way I have found to get the most amazing results so let's get right into the demo alrighty so we are going to start off with nice frizzy, what I like to call my Mufasa hair. So the first step is to brush it out. So you're going to want to brush out all of the knots and tangles that you have in your hair just so you get a nice even curl. Then you're going to part your hair wherever you prefer your part. Now I'm showing you this because you don't want to split your hair on a top section and a bottom section. Instead, you want to split a right section, a left section, and a middle section. Then you're going to tie off the center section and get your heat styling glove onto your hand that's going to be holding your hair. Now you're going to start parting your hair. I take about one inch sections of my hair, put the curling iron behind your hair, and wrap away from your face. Now this is really important because I find that the curls lay really nicely when you're wrapping away from your face. You're going to hold that curl in your hair for about 5 to 10 seconds depending on how tight you want the curl and then just let go. And you're going to continue this exact same process all the way through the rest of your hair on this side of your head. And I'm just going to speed it up just so you guys don't have to sit through me in real time curling all of my hair. Now when you do the other side of your head, be sure that you switch the hand that your heat protectant glove is on. This is a very, very important step and you don't want to burn your hand. Also be sure you're continuing to curl away from your face. Now for the back section, I'm just going to brush it out and honestly when I curl it, there really is no real rhyme or reason to it. I just curl it however I feel like. Very, very important. Do not forget to turn off your curling iron. And then I just run my fingers through my newly done curls and I just kind of zhuzh out the back of my hair just to make sure everything is nice and together. 
Right after I'm done curling my hair, I go through with the flat iron just to make sure that all of the frizz that I have up towards the roots of my hair is nice and tame. It also helps if you've curled your hair a little too high up. It helps bring those curls back down. And there you have it. Super, super simple, really nice, what I like to call Taylor Swift curls done with the 19 millimeter New Me Classic curling wand. So as you guys can see from the demo, I absolutely love this iron. It turns my Mufasa frizzy hair into amazing Taylor Swift curls is what I call it. Literally those curls look like the kind that Taylor Swift has. So if you guys want those kinds of curls, 19 millimeter classic curling wand will give them to you. This 19 millimeter zebra curling wand retails for $159 on the new me website. All right, the next product I have is the new me 25 millimeter magic wand and as you guys can see I have this one in the shade pink which is amazing I love pink the box for the magic wand looks like this now this curling wand is from the collection that they call magic wands and as opposed to the 19 millimeter one that I have is from their classic wand collection now, there are some differences between the classic wands and the magic wand the classic wand has a simple on off switch the magic wand has a digital temperature control dial here which I actually really really like if you are wanting to control the temperature when you control the temperature you can get it anywhere from 140 degrees Fahrenheit to 410 degrees Fahrenheit so you have a nice big range they both have the swivel cord which is really really nice also whereas the classic wand is a ceramic plate right here the magic wand is a 100% titanium plate now to be honest I don't really know what the exact difference is between ceramic and titanium is I just find they work pretty similarly in my opinion I like the magic wand if you guys are wanting a really pretty pink color or if you guys want to control the temperature. And of course, this wand also comes with the heat protectant glove. Now the 25 millimeter curling wand I have found is the perfect size for me to get those everyday beachy curls. This is gonna give you a little bit more curl than say a 32 millimeter will. Now a few different things that give you different sizes of curl, not only the barrel, so of course the bigger the barrel you have, the bigger the curl, meaning the looser the curl you're gonna get, but also if you hold Hold your hair around the iron for a longer period of time if you hold it there for say 10 seconds instead of five you're gonna get a tighter curl and that curl is gonna hold better and longer throughout the day as much as I love this iron there is one thing that I'm not crazy about and it is the fact that the temperature dial here is right here on the end of the wand where you hold it so I find a lot of times when I'm going through and actually curling my hair I'll accidentally push a button or something and adjust the temperature without even meaning it but overall that is not a deal breaker for me this product is still equally amazing so let's get right into the demo of me using this 25 millimeter curling wand so just like last time we are going to comb out our hair and make sure to part it in three different sections and then we are going to heat up our styling tool to 430 degrees Fahrenheit get our protective glove on and start curling I use the exact same method to curl my hair with this wand as I do with my other wand starting on one side of my head and curling away from my face holding the hair for about five to ten seconds on the curling wand then with the back section there's no rhyme or reason to this I just curl it in whatever direction feels comfortable for me be sure to turn off the curling iron and then I go through and flat iron the top part of my hair just like last time just to get down any frizziness or if a curl went up too high then I zhuzh out my hair comb through it and these are the curls that you are left with I think they're perfect everyday curls and I love them. As you guys can see from the demo, this wand gives amazing curls as well. They're looser for sure than the 19 millimeter curling wand. I call these just my everyday perfect curls. This is actually the wand that I use to get the hair look that I have right now. As you guys can see, this is second day curls. I actually filmed that demo that you guys saw yesterday and these are the curls after I've slept on them and everything and you can see my hair is still just as curled. I didn't even touch up today. This 25 millimeter magic wand retails for $169 on the new me website and I also have to say if you guys are going to check this product out it's listed on the website as purple it's not it's actually pink but it says purple so that's kind of confusing the last new me heat styling tool I'm going to be talking about is the flat iron this is the couture 
purple flat iron. The second I opened this flat iron from the box, I have to say it was honestly love at first sight. I saw it and I was like, this is beautiful. It is the most beautiful purple I've ever seen. And it's got little sparkles in it, if you guys can see. Oh my goodness, it's just gorgeous. Now this flat iron is a one and one third inch flat iron. It's got ceramic plates on it. You can also control the temperature of this one. There's a little dial on the inside right here. So you can control this temperature anywhere from 140 degrees Fahrenheit to 410 degrees Fahrenheit. This one also has the swivel cord. Now the website claims that this heats up in six to 10 seconds. And I don't know if that's completely accurate. Maybe if you're heating it up to 140 degrees, it heats up in six seconds but I usually keep it on 410 and I I notice it takes about 30 seconds to a minute to heat up still not like it doesn't take years or anything like that but I think six seconds is pushing it a little a few things to keep in mind though I know that a lot of people like to curl their hair with their flat iron and I actually used to curl my hair with my flat iron until I got the new me curling wands that I absolutely love and will never ever ever go back to my flat iron to curl my hair but anyways I used to curl my hair with my flat iron and I noticed with this flat iron you don't really get great curls with it I find you can flip your hair out nicely but if you're trying to get a full curl it's difficult to do that with this and I think it's because the plates are so big they're one and one thirds inches instead of one inch which is what most flat irons are there are pros and cons to getting a one and one third inch flat iron. Of course, you can fit more hair in the plates so you get more hair done at once. So I find that this does actually cut down on the amount of time it takes me to flat iron my hair. Instead of taking about 15 minutes, I find it takes about 10 minutes. You guys will just see from the demo how quickly I can get my hair from looking like Mufasa hair to looking nice and pin straight. So let's get right into the demo. Just like last time, we are going to start out with our nice frizzy hair and brush it out. Once we've brushed our hair, we are going to part it wherever you want your hair to be parted. Then we're going to separate sections of our hair to straighten. So I separate the top section of my hair from the bottom section and tie off the top section of your hair. Once that top section is tied off, you're going to take the bottom section and split it into two. Now you're just going to grab your straightener and start straightening. I separate my section into about one inch sections of hair. Start the straightener up at the root and work your way down. Now this clip right here is in real time so you guys can see exactly how long it takes me to go down each strand of hair. And you can see as I'm going down the hair, I tend to brush it out using my other hand and run my fingers through it. I know it may seem strange that I put sections of my hair in my mouth as I go through and straighten, and you'll see that throughout this demo, but that's only so I don't get the part of my hair that I've already straightened mixed up with the part that has yet to be straightened. Now I'm just going to go through and straighten up all of the baby hairs that are framing my face. Then I'm going to take an elastic tie and tie off the part of my hair that I've already straightened, and then take down the part of the hair that I have yet to straighten. Now I'm going to separate this part of hair very similarly to how I did the first section. I'm going to take another section up on top, tie it off, and then split another section of hair into two sides and continue the straightening process. So I'm going to continue straightening all of my hair, running through each section of hair two times with the straightener. Now I'm going to tie off all of the hair that I've straightened and finally straighten the last top section of hair. And that's pretty much all there is to it, guys. Just take your hair out of your elastic, turn off your straightener, comb through your hair, and you have perfectly straightened, amazingly smooth, soft hair. And I love, love, love the way it turned out. So as you guys can see, I absolutely love this iron. I honestly don't have much bad to, actually anything bad to say about it. Maybe the fact that the plates are bigger, maybe a deal breaker for some of you guys, but for me, it just means I can flat iron more hair at once. Why not? This Numi Couture Purple Flat Iron retails for $155 on the Numi website. So overall, between the three heat styling tools that I have from Numi, I am over the moon about them. I love them so, so much. You guys have no idea. The next one's on my list to get. Yeah, I'm now collecting curling irons from New Me. Don't even worry about it. The next one's on my list to get. I'm really, really, really wanting to try their classic pearl curling wand. It's got these little, like, pearl bulbs. It's supposed to give your hair really nice, really beachy waves. 
that is on my list to get. I also really, really want a 32 millimeter one, probably in the same magic wand style, just the 32 millimeter, so it's a little bit bigger, because I feel like that'll give me the really nice, super loose, beachy waves. And I also want their reverse curling wand. Most cone-shaped curling wands go from big at like the base here to like skinny up here, but the other one goes from skinny to big. So I'm curious about that one. Yeah, I'm probably going to be placing another huge Numi order in my near future. Um, I think the fact that they sent me some things actually worked out not for my benefit because it's gonna hurt my bank account. And if you guys think that watching this review video is gonna break your bank account too, I totally and completely know what you mean, but you're in luck because Numi is so amazing and so sweet. They actually offered a coupon code to my subscribers and it's not just any coupon code people. It is a 60% off coupon code. 60% off all heat styling tools on the entire Numi website. I freak out over like a 15 to 20% off coupon code. I think that's amazing. But the fact that they offered me 60% off to my subscribers, I was just like, done. I want this coupon code. So yeah, if you guys want to order from new me, you totally don't have to. I'm not like forcing your hand to do it. But if you guys have been curious about the curling wands, more specifically the curling wands, I think that the straightener is amazing. If you guys are looking for a good professional straightener, it's a great, great straightener. But I have tried straighteners that work pretty much the same. Like my GHD, yes, my GHD is like double as expensive as this one, but it's not that this one works better than that one. They work about the same. But the curling wands, let me be real with you guys. I have never tried curling wands that are this amazing. I love these. I'm literally gonna wear my hair curled every single day from now on. No, I'm totally kidding because you guys are probably gonna watch my next video and I'm gonna have straight hair and you guys are gonna be like, what the heck happened? But whenever you guys see me with my hair curled, it's gonna be using a new me curling wand. It's just, it's going to be. So anyways, I'm going to put the coupon code in the description box below. It is just Ishani60, but it will be all written down in the description box. I will also have links to all three of the heat styling tools that I mentioned in this video linked in the description box below, as well as the Numi website. Like I said, you guys don't have to purchase these exact hair products. You guys can get 60% off any heat styling tool. If something else has been on your list to get, go for it because now you have 60% off. Like I said, I'm gonna get more new me curling wands. It's gonna happen in my near future. I'm just putting it out there. So thank you guys so much for watching this video. I hope the demos were helpful. I hope the review was helpful and I hope you guys check out the new me hair styling tools. If you guys have any other questions, please feel free to leave them in the comments below and I will be sure to get back to you and I will talk to you guys in my next video. Bye!